Hi and welcome to the Mitel 5320, 5330 and 5340 programmable keys video. Your Mitel IP phone has a number of programmable keys. These keys can be assigned to speed dials or other advanced features depending on how they are programmed. They are located in the middle of the handset and the menus can be navigated using the page arrows. Programming these keys is done centrally using a web portal which you can log on to after entering your extension and PIN number. Once you are logged into the system, click the My Phones button. This will now take you to the page where you are able to customise your handset's programmable keys. Let's now see how that's done. Firstly, choose your phone model from the drop down list. In this example, we'll select the 5330E. Note the asterisk indicates you are logged into that phone type. We recommend being logged into your handset before starting to program keys. Notice that the buttons which then appear are an exact replica of your phone's programmable keys. Each time you click on a programmable key, a new window will pop up where you can choose how to program that particular key by picking from the feature drop down list. Enter the name you wish to assign to the key, then click save to make the feature live on your phone. In this video, we will look at how to set and use the programmable keys in the feature list. To skip ahead to different features, use the navigation keys next to this video. If you notice that keys are missing from this video, you'll find them covered as fixed keys in our first user training video. The account code feature allows you to attribute a call to a specific account or department. To select the programmable key to act as a prompt for the correct account code, simply choose account code from the feature list, enter the label account code and leave the details filled blank. If you would like to set the key for a specific account, label it accordingly and enter its code in the details field as we're showing here. Note that whatever is added to the label field will appear as text next to the key on your phone. Now, when you are on a call that you wish to attribute to an account, simply press the account code programmable key and enter the account's number. Or press the specific account code key just like the one we've seen set up. The company speed dial feature allows you to establish a call with a pre-selected phone number from your external company directory. To set this up, simply select company speed dial from the feature list in the portal, label it appropriately, select the number you wish to add and click save. To make a call to this number, simply press the newly created key on your handset. If you have a conference unit attached to your handset, you can create a programmable key to control its functionality. Select Conference Unit from the feature list in the portal. Give the key a name using the label box and click Save. To use it, press the corresponding key on your phone and then choose from the available options. Note, you can turn on the conference unit during or before making a call. The Do Not Disturb function automatically diverts all incoming calls to your call coverage and blocks page and intercom requests. To enable this feature as a programmable key on your handset, simply select Do Not Disturb from the feature list on the portal. Give the key a suitable name using the label field and then select Active or Inactive depending on whether you want the feature to be turned on immediately or for it to be programmed for future use. Once programmed, simply press the corresponding key on your phone once to turn it on and again to turn it off. Note that you can press Do Not Disturb during an incoming call to divert just that call. You can program keys for automatic forwarding to an auto attendant, a coworker, call coverage, a program number, or a specific number you enter at the time of activation. To enable this function on your handset, select the appropriate option from the feature list inside the portal, give it a label, which will then appear on your handset next to the key. Next, choose where you would like calls diverted to and then select active or inactive depending on whether you want call forwarding to be turned on immediately or programmed for future use. Once the key has been programmed, simply press the relevant key on your phone to activate it. Press it again to deactivate it. Calls will then be received as normal. Hands Free Answer Back allows you to have intercom calls automatically answered providing a two-way speech connection. To enable this as a programmable key on your handset, select Hands-Free Answer Back from the portal's feature list. Give it a suitable label 
and then choose Active to turn the feature on immediately. When the feature is activated, you will see the LED indicator illuminated next to the programmed key on your phone. Any incoming intercom call will be automatically answered on speakerphone, and when the caller hangs up, the call will end. To deactivate the feature, press the hands-free answer back key once again and check it is no longer illuminated. The intercom feature allows you to make an announcement through the speaker of a co-worker's phone. To enable this as a feature in your programmable keys, choose either intercom to co-worker or intercom to prompt, depending on which you wish to do, and then label it accordingly. This will then appear as a programmable key on your handset. For the co-worker option, you will need to choose a co-worker from the details drop-down list. Let's now take a look at this working. You will now be able to activate this feature by pressing the newly programmed key on your phone. When you hear a beep, speak through your microphone or handset and your co-worker will hear you through the speaker on their phone. You can use the join leave group feature to join and leave a call group. Incoming calls to a call group have the opportunity to be answered by anyone in the group. Only administrators can add a call group or change the users of an existing one. To create a join leave group key for a particular group that you are in, select join leave group from the feature list in the portal. Give it a label and then choose the group you would like to assign it to and then click save. Back on your handset, you can activate this feature by pressing the program key on the phone. When the LED indicator is illuminated, you are in the group. You can press it again to leave the group. Most phones come with three line appearance keys already programmed. Line appearance keys are live lines by which you can make or receive calls. To add more to your handset, you can create programmable keys. From the feature list, choose line appearance, give it a suitable label and click save. There are three monitoring features which allow you to view the status of or answer the phone of a co-worker in your monitor group. Monitor groups are set up by administrators. You cannot view the status of or answer the phone of someone who is not in your monitor group. The first feature, Monitor Call, allows you to both monitor and pick up calls appearing on another user's phone. To set this feature up as a programmable key, choose Monitor Call from the feature list and give it a label then select the coworker you wish to monitor from the details drop down. And don't forget to click save. Once programmed, you will see the LED indicator next to your coworker's name illuminated when they are on a call and flash when they are receiving a call alongside simultaneous ringing. To answer the call for them, lift the handset and press the newly programmed key or leave the handset down and press the key to answer in speaker mode. The Monitor Call Silent feature works in exactly the same way as Monitor Call, except when there is an incoming call, you don't hear ringing. And the Monitor Phone feature also works in a similar way. However, you can only see the status of another user's phone, you cannot pick up calls. Your programmable keys can be set as one-touch speed dials for coworkers and external numbers. To set these up, select one-touch speed dial from the feature drop-down. Label it, perhaps with the person's name, Enter the phone number of the person in the details field and as you can see here, remember to include any numbers needed to make an external call, such as 9 for an outside line. Don't forget to click save. Your speed dial will now be immediately available on your handset. To make a call to this person you've just set up, simply press the newly created key on your phone. The page feature allows you to make an announcement through the speakers of all phones on site. To make this feature available on your phone, like all other programmable keys, select Page from the feature list, give it a suitable label, and then click Save. When you are ready to broadcast an announcement through all phones on site, press this newly created button on your phone and speak. The Part Retrieve feature allows calls to be placed on hold and then retrieved by any other handset inside your business. The function can be added as a programmable key. To do this, simply select Park Retrieve from the feature list in the portal, give it a label and press Save. Let's now see this working. When you are on an active call, press the newly programmed Park Retrieve key to part the call. 
Then, someone else in the business who isn't currently on a call can press the Park Retrieve key on their handset to retrieve that Park call. To do this, they will need to enter the Park location when prompted. The Park location is provided by the user who parks the call. Note that after parking a call, you can use the page function to alert a colleague that a call is waiting for them at a particular park location. The pickup key can be used to monitor and pick up calls from a pickup group. Only your administrator can include you in a pickup group, but you can join and leave this group by using the join leave group feature shown earlier in this video. To use the pickup function, program the key by choosing it from the feature list in the portal, giving it a label, and then selecting the pickup group from the drop-down menu. To finish, click Save. When there is an incoming call to the group, this newly programmed key will flash and the key can then be picked up by lifting your handset and pressing the flashing key. Finally, the twinning on-off key can be used to activate or deactivate mobile twinning. Mobile twinning allows you to connect your desk phone and your mobile so that both ring simultaneously allowing you to pick up your incoming calls wherever you are. In order to use this feature, you must first have your administrator set up mobile twinning on your account. Once activated, you can then go ahead and program a key to turn this feature on or off by choosing this option from the feature list, labeling it and clicking save. Back on your handset, you can then simply press the corresponding key on your phone to turn it on or off. If the LED indicator is illuminated, then the feature is on. You are now ready to start using the programmable keys on your Mitel IP phone. To learn more about your phone's capabilities, please watch our other user videos. In the meantime, thanks for watching.